Uh, my name is Morag Arnott. I'm the Executive Director of Women's Scotland Foundation. Um, we aim to develop the inner skills of Scotland's young people so that they believe that they will, will and can do anything that they choose to do. Okay, thank you very much. You were oh, a participant on our very first and so far at the moment only ever uh, accelerator programme. Just, could you just tell me what were the best bits about it and what do you remember as the best bits about that, that time there? Uh, for me, it was actually having two days away where all, in theory, I talked about or listened about was digital. Not only was there was something niggling me at the back of my head from pre previous jobs that I knew that we needed to, to embrace digitally better, we would have to look at how we did things, irrespective of whether they were going to be digitally enabled. And therefore, we were at a stage where I knew there was something about we needed to look at processes and how they flow and where they're serving us, where they're serving our customers, etc. Uh, I just quote, hadn't quite got my head around how I was going to do it. And then, of course, the service design um, piece came along, which was really interesting on the day. And, um, and through happenstance and the good faith of Stephen, the person who presented, I got three days pro bono from him, which is perfect. Um, so that's helped us a lot in the way that I wanted to start that change process for, for us. Uh, next question for me is something, can you tell me about something that you've stopped doing as a result of the digital change or the digital enablement of your organisation? What have you what Well, have you again, this, this, was, this was partly happenstance or the fact that I managed to get, the, get on the programme at the right time. Mm -hmm. We decided that, well, we needed to move office and it was what was that office going to look like and we'd already visited several, including SEVO, we were now moved into. Um, and we saw, I saw that as an opportunity to leave a lot behind, mm -hmm. if you think about it. Strategically, we've at, we are actually handing things over, leaving things behind with other people to make impact, hopefully, on our behalf in the future. And so we'd, we'd already, had already restructured, re-strategized, so I was putting forward new models for the operating model of the organisation. But they were just diagrams, they were just, PowerPoint diagrams with me filling things in. So again, it brought it all to life, the fact that we, we literally made the decision to um, on which of the office options to go for about the same time as the course. So what we, we've stopped doing loads. We've got rid of, we've got rid of our office, we've sold the furniture, we've shut so much paper out, and um, we're not going to be paper oriented. I would say not to be paperless because that never happens, but um, we don't intend, but the actual move has provided us with a great break point to okay. say we're now going to be SharePoint, we're now going to look at these other things, but we need to take it slowly mm -hmm. because um, it's quite a lot at one time. But so far we've moved in and we're now on SharePoint and that's what we're using from now on. We just need to then hopefully get help uh, from some of you guys about how we maximise mm -hmm using the different apps within that. Just to kind of go back to the server a little bit, has that, presumably you were paying for that? Yeah. So has that, what, have you got money with that? Because you're not... Yeah, what, yeah, because you... we, well, we also had an IT contractor okay. who supported us on all our stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't have him anymore. <laughs> um, and uh, so that's a big saving. We think from this move, not just in, and we'll hopefully make more savings, or it's certainly efficiencies, we may not, but we've probably saved about seven to eight hundred pounds a month. Okay. Okay. Which is perhaps member staff, if in that terms. For me, in that yeah, terms, I would yeah. think about that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> anything else? Is there anything else you would like to say about your your experience on the program? I suppose for, for me, it just connected a lot of dots. You know how sometimes you go, mm, I know this should all work together. Do you know that feeling? Going, I know I should be doing something about this. I know I should be, but how do I, I you know, how do I get the space? How do I, and actually, you know, a course, a good old fashioned course can actually just be that bit that gives you the time and space to, and a bit of 
challenge from you guys and a bit of, ooh, look at me, you could use this. It's fascinating though, as you said, because I went, I, I mean, I was like, I just wish I had somebody who could do this for me. I wasn't, that was my answer, it's like I need someone, mm -hmm. which possibly is still true, but it was the fact that we could, what you, genuinely what you get, what I felt when I came away is I wasn't scared. Scared's not maybe the right word. I wasn't like thinking this was an enormous decision anymore. It was, I just had to, I just had to trust the fact that I come from a comms background originally. So I always used to say to my underlings at the time, I said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't need to be able to um, know how a, how to produce a newspaper to get our word out in the right time in the right place. And I, I it, it's a bit like that. So to lead that transformation, I do not need to understand why, how everything works. I just need to stick with being logical, paced and sensible, and why are we doing this? 